Hi everyone, today we will be showing a video on how to do cost volume profit analysis. We will be focusing on how to calculate break even point, margin of safety, and expected profit. You can use two methods in order to calculate those. The first one is mathematical equation method. And the second one is contribution margin method. In this video, we will be calculating using contribution margin method. How to calculate the break-even point BEP? So here is the question. First question, calculate BEP in unit and RM. Sales units equal to fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution margin per unit. You can get contribution margin per unit by dedicating variable cost per unit from selling price per unit. From this question, you will get price per unit when you divide it total sales which is 915,000 ringgit with selling cost which is 130,000 unit then you will get 5 ringgit per unit where you will get variable cost per unit when you divide total variable cost which is 325,000 with selling unit 130,000 unit then you get 2 ringgit and 50 cent per unit now you continue the calculation using contribution margin formula. Based on the question, total fixed cost per unit is 140,000 ringgit and at the break even point the profit must be zero. Then you will divide the total by selling price minus variable cost. You will get 56,000 unit. To get the value in RM, you have to multiply the unit with selling price per unit which is 5 ringgit per unit. Then you will get the answer 280,000 ringgit. Calculate the margin of safety MOS in unit and RM. Margin of safety is actual expected sales minus sales unit at break even point. So, based on the question, the actual sales is 130,000 units. You minus the 56,000 units that you just calculated in the question before. The answer is 74,000 units. To get the value in RM, you multiply the answer with selling price per unit 5 ringgit per unit. Then you will get 370,000 ringgit. Third question, we are looking for expected profit assuming this circumstance happened when direct material costs increased by 10 cents, advertising costs increased by 20,000 ringgit and total sales increased to 1 million ringgit. Using the contribution margin formula, sales unit equal to fixed cost plus profit divided by contribution margin per unit. New variable cost is when you plus the first variable cost with the additional 10 cents, then you will get 2 ringgit and 60 cents per unit. Whereas new total fixed cost is when you plus the first 140,000 ringgit with additional 20,000 ringgit, then you will get 160,000 ringgit. To get sales unit, you divide 1 million ringgit with selling price 5 ringgit per unit. So the total sales unit is 200,000. Again, using the formula, 200,000 units equal to 160,000 plus expected profit divided by 5 ringgit per unit minus 2 ringgit and 60 cents per unit. So the expected profit that you will get is 320,000 ringgit. Okay guys, thank you for watching! Bye!